Am I the asshole? For using the word expect with a house cleaner? Edit this post got way more popular than expected so I'm clearing the original post for privacy reasons. The long and short of it is that I scheduled a cleaning with her a week ago. She texted right before the appointment saying she was booked by her service and had to delay. I replied with okay, but I expect you to reserve time we schedule for us and not book more jobs. She called angrily about the use of the word expect. You can gather the rest of the context from the comments. Not the asshole. People are expected to do the things at the times and places that they contracted to do. Besides, people who scream about how someone is disrespecting them are almost always an uber asshole just looking for an excuse to be themselves. Not the asshole. If you are paying her to clean your house then she does, in fact, work for you. You booked a job for a certain day time and she blew you off. I think you were more than reasonable by saying it's okay for this time, but not in the future. Given her reaction, though, I would say cut ties and find someone else. She clearly is an acting professional, and I'd honestly be concerned about someone with that attitude inside my house, especially if she's unsupervised while in there. Not the asshole. This isn't how adults normally communicate. You scheduled the cleaning and she postponed it, and you accepted it but still made clear what you rightfully expect for a job she is getting paid for by you. You hire her for your house cleaning, after all. Not the asshole. She does actually work for you. That's how hiring someone works. Also, how else would you say this? I didn't realize that stating perfectly normal expectations of adherence to agreements with people you deal with on a professional level was somehow a behavior. She didn't prioritize the appointment she'd set with you, and you were letting her know that you expect her to do so in the future instead of blowing you off and disrupting your schedule. Seems straightforward to me. Is English her second language by chance? My husband is francophone and sometimes I'll use very regular words that come across as rude to him based on direct translation or how he defines them based off of working in his second language. Otherwise, I'm quite baffled at her response. You're not the asshole. Not the asshole. She is not giving you free service. You are paying her, so it's normal to have expectations. You hired her for a cleaning service at a specific time, which she accepted and confirmed. So of course you expect her to provide said service at the agreed time. You did nothing wrong. Not the asshole. Not the asshole when you pay people to do something for you it comes with expectations. A severe overreaction on her part. I would understand if you said required, or demand but no you used professional language. Not the asshole. When I make an appointment I do not expect it to be cancelled or moved so the person to simply take a different appointment. This is a reasonable expectation emo. If she can't balance taking her own appointments the way the app schedules, she shouldn't try to do both. She probably should have just said something came up and not elaborated at all, or left it at a basic scheduling conflict. Honesty is nice, but in a situation like this I imagine you wouldn't have cared as much if she hadn't given the specific reason. As you pay for her services, yes she works for you. But not any longer I hope. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. This lady seems unhinged while you aren't her employer. She absolutely did work for you. You paid her money for a job she needed to complete. That is working for you. There was nothing wrong with your message. She is putting the other job above the one she agreed to for you and it's okay for you to not be happy about that. You weren't rude or said anything harsh at all. Not the asshole. You pay her, you're allowed to have expectations of her work. Not the asshole that idiot has no understanding of what working for someone means. Not the asshole. I work for myself well then clean your own damn house then, see how much it pays you. You paid and scheduled a time, that time should have been blocked out for them in their other portal. What if you had rearranged your entire day to be there at 10 and then had to work by 2? She didn't even ask, she just told you that's when she'd be there. I'd be responding to the tirade with I guess I don't need your services anymore, seeing as how you don't work for me. And can't be bothered to respect me or my time. Not the asshole. Only a shitty house cleaner would be upset that appointments are expected to be kept. Sounds like she's not very dependable. Not the asshole. If she doesn't work for you, where does she think the money comes from? Um this is like the crazy shopper I got the other day who accepted my order and strung it along for 6 hours past the delivery window because she had an opportunity to do other deliveries and then she got mad I called the delivery company if you contract to do a service at a certain time. That doesn't mean it's automatically fine to decide you'll do it on your own time because it works better for you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. 
you blocked off your time to accommodate when she was going to be there and she changed the time with little no notice. Also, she does work for you. You pay her for a service. Not the asshole if I'm paying someone it is their job to meet my expectations. Not the asshole if I make an appointment with someone, I expect them to be there on time and they would assume the same. Your time is just as valuable as hers. Also she does work for you during that time slot. Not the asshole you can have expectations. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I have something scheduled and the individual is not on time. I have an expectation that schedules will be kept. Yes, I get it there are circumstances when things need to be changed, I am not that rigid haha, but I plan things around a schedule, and I cannot always be available to change things same day, etc. Sorry, but I expect people to be on time, and to have an open schedule for when I have them booked for a job. Not the asshole. Every job I've ever had has expected me to be there by a certain time. This is not an unusual thing. If my cleaner said that they were moving my time slot from 10 until 2, with only 20 minutes notice, they wouldn't be my cleaner for very long. Not the asshole. I take this happened in the USA. People are being tricked into thinking they are business owners when they are actually independent contractors who are at the mercy of others. She probably though of herself in those terms and assumed you had the same understanding. It's obvious that you rightfully see her as an employee, and have certain expectation from the relationship such as showing up when scheduled. She's her own boss but is now out of a job. I hope she sees the irony soon. Not the asshole when you schedule someone to do a job you expect for them to show up and do it. She was wrong to give you 20 minutes notice of a 4 hour change in when she would show up. Ask her if she expects to be paid, and tell her to look up the meaning of the word expect. Not the asshole. Time to find a new cleaner. I see my former student from 2018 got a job. Not the asshole at all if you both agreed to schedule her to work at a certain date and time, she should consider herself booked. She may run her own business on the side apparently but she works for her clients and that includes you. I would have just fired anyone who talked to me like this I wouldn't want someone so unprofessional around my stuff or in my house as a worker. If she can't keep her time, that's her problem. She made it your problem and then got mad when you correctly addressed the issue as one of her own making. I'd be so embarrassed if I were her. Not the asshole I do not understand the white he votes at all. I'd replace her. When you offer a service, clients expect certain things related to the service they've ordered. There will always be expectations of anyone that does any job. Not the asshole you can absolutely have expectations that a person you have employed to do a job and arrive at a certain time does what they have agreed to do. Not the asshole I would tell her that she's correct, that he doesn't work for you and then find someone else. Not the asshole. It was an appropriate word in this context and the message was direct but polite. She's providing a service customers can reasonably expect a minimum standard. Not the asshole. That appears her to have escalated pretty quickly. In hindsight you obviously dodged a bullet here. I would just move on and find another cleaning service. Doesn't she expect to get paid? Not the asshole she literally does work for you, and you have every right to expect someone who works for you to follow the agreed upon schedule and not change it last minute. If I book a service I expect said service for the time booked. Not the asshole. Would it be safe to say she expects to be paid? I'm pretty sure it would. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. When you hire someone to do a job, there are certain expectations that go along with it. I would find a different professional going forward. But she does work for you? Presumably you pay her in return for a service she provides? This is not in any way disrespectful, I think it's good communication, acknowledging that today is not a problem, but set your very reasonable expectations yes, expectations, you pay her early and clearly. There was also no reason to blow up straight away. I think it's probably better this way because you don't want somebody in your house who you can't trust and after that, I wouldn't trust her. Not the asshole. You're paying her for a service so she did in fact work for you. With an attitude like that, she won't be very successful. Not the asshole. I don't know why expect is a bad word. You booked her and she confirmed that she would be able to make it at that time. She gave you every reason to expect anticipate, plan that she would be there at a particular time to clean your house. She didn't meet your expectations. I'm an independent contractor, too, and while I'm self-employed I respect my client's time and I show up when I say I will because I respect their time. And like you, they pay me to be present at the time they booked me for. I don't understand what this woman's problem is. 
If you hired her and you pay her then she most definitely works for you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I don't expect you'll remain in my employee then. You're fired, grow up. I mean, you pay her, she works for you. When you pay somebody to be someplace at 10 a.m., yes, you expect them to be there at 10 a.m. That's contracting 101. Not the asshole. The word expect is 100 the correct word. If you have an ongoing cleaning, there is a clear expectation that your house cleaner will be at your house at that time. If you don't have clear expectations what eventually happens is they show up when they want to and eventually the days, hours are never really known. So a schedule is a set expectation. I've never in heard someone lose it at the word expect for a job. Like you're paying her for her services, came to a mutual agreement which she changed. It's reasonable to expect her to uphold her end of the agreement. I'm honestly flabbergasted at her behavior. I'd leave a review anywhere possible but I'm pretty like that. Like one star. I respected her time and expectations but was not allotted the same courtesy. I don't work for you. Does that mean you don't have to pay her? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I love how people are saying the word expect can be a trigger trigger has become as overused as gaslighting. I highly doubt that ops text caused an actual trauma response. It sounds to me like the cleaner is simply bratty and unprofessional. The world is full of expectations, so I don't know how anyone navigates through life with that level of entitlement. Not the asshole. It is absolutely reasonable to expect someone to honor the appointment time you'd previously set, and to not reschedule your appointment in order to make one with someone else. I'm also wondering how people stay in business if they go around canceling or changing appointments with long-term clients to accommodate new appointments. That seems like a questionable business model, but whatever. I'd say she overreacted in a big way, unless your tone during the conversation was incredibly condescending or something. Not the asshole. I don't know why she thinks that because you employ her you can expect things from her. That's literally what a job is.